hello, I am standing. Who is she? Who, who, what are, what is this angle? We never get to see these bookshelves. Today, I am going to be reorganizing my bookshelves. I did this organizational method back in the beginning of the year and since acquiring more books and just as the year has gone on, um, you know, I've given this organizational method about six months to sit and I don't know about you, but I really like to reorganize. Well, I was just looking at my shelves recently and I was like, you know, I really like how everything is ordered by height on my bookshelves. I, you know, I liked it, but there are some things I don't like about it and you know, why not mix it up? It's the middle of the year and I just thought it now was a good time to switch things up and see if I can come up with a organizational method for my bookshelves that I love. So I will get into this video by pulling off all of the books from my shelves. So I've got these two tall bookshelves with some storage on top. The only shelves on here that I enjoy are these top two shelves because they're actually like decorated, but I think I'm probably going to move where they are. Like I like them the way that they are, but they might move to a different location. What you see in my videos are these two shelves right here going this way. So I'd like to come up with shelves specifically here of books that I really want to show off. You know what I mean? Like right now it's just kind of random. You've got all sorts of things in there, books that I love, books that I don't love. So I want the videos or I want the books that are in the background of my videos to really reflect my current reading tastes, if that makes sense. So I think these two shelves particularly need some work. And then of course the bottom shelf, um, speaks for itself. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, so that's what we're having to work with over here. And then over here, we've got my romance shelf, which I did a little video on. Still kind of a work in progress, but I'm still really liking the idea of having a separate romance shelf, a nonfiction shelf, and a TBR shelf. Look at, I don't have that many books on here anymore. Obviously not all of the books are off the shelves, but they are now grouped by like some categories. Okay, so we've got science fiction, and this is like mostly thriller mysteries, but also science fiction thrillers. So like, it's hard to like differentiate, differentiate these two piles to me because it's like, well, this is a thriller, but it's a sci-fi thriller. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's go over the piles. <laughs> okay, this from here, all of those, all of those, all of these, and this whole stack is all Tamara Pierce books. Obviously I own all of her books. So I will probably have an entire shelf, if not two dedicated solely to this one author. This pile is like older fantasy, like stuff that I read in middle school that I still love. Obviously, Philip Pullman, um, the Golden Compass series, still love. That's like classic fantasy. 
These are young adult books. This pile, this pile, and that one back there of like, used to be my favorites, but now they're not like my absolute favorites anymore. There, there's some paranormal in there, some, you know, older YA fantasy that I just am not loving anymore. And then of course there's my Cassandra Clare pile. Um, she kind of fits in with this, so I might have to have an entire shelf of young adult. I still love young adult, but that's just where we're at. This is my favorite young adult sci-fi. Don't have very many, but then this is all my favorite young adult fantasy. So these are current young adult favorites. <laughs> And then over here, these are like my favorite books of all time slash all of N.K. Jemisin's books, which are, you know, one and the same. Uh, this is a possible uh, unhaul. <laughs> and I decided to pull these out because this is a series I have yet to finish. So I should really put this on my TBR shelf. So that is where we're at. I still have to empty these shelves, but that's the progress. I know the lighting is terrible. I have a window right here and it just, it's not flattering. So I apologize for like the quality of this video, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, and you're more, more focused on the aesthetic of like putting books up and taking them down. I might just cut to the end just because uh, I'm out of time on my lunch break. So of course I have to go back to work in my office when my office is an utter disaster, but you know, I gotta, gotta be on the clock as well. So I might just, you've seen a couple of montages, a couple of in progress shots. I think at the very end of this video, I'll do an overview and show you how I have reorganized my bookshelves uh, an aesthetic end result, if you will. So I will see you once I've done all that work. So that took forever. Uh, not because, you know, moving books around is hard. It's uh, my decision-making powers. And I kept changing my mind and I'm still not sure about it. And so it'll probably change again in another couple months. But I think... I am happy. <laughs> am I? Am I happy? I think I'm pretty satisfied with where the bookshelves are at right now. So I'm happy to film in front of the couple of shelves that you're going to see. So let me do a bookshelf overview and I can talk about each of the shelves in turn. So this is a bunch of older fantasy and favorites. So on the left shelf, you have some of my favorites that I still love and adore to this day that are a little bit older. They're in the, you know, middle grade young adult category. This entire top shelf is all Tamara Pierce and, you know, up through here, also Tamara Pierce. And then we've got some Garth Nix, Howl's Moving Castle, you know, some, some really good foundational middle grade fantasy. Then over here on this half, on these two shelves, we've got some young adult fantasy that I loved, you know, when I was a little bit younger and I just don't have as much of a connection to anymore. It's not that I hate them, but it's just, I just want them all to be kind of separate from my favorite young, current young adult favorites, if that makes sense. Some of these are, you know, quote unquote problematic as well. <clears throat> So that's why I just have them separate from the rest of my shelves because they don't really reflect my current reading tastes anymore. So those are these two short bookshelves. And then behind me, here's like a big overview 
of the tall bookshelves. So let me get up and personal and we'll start over here. Got this shelf, which has not changed. The only thing I changed about this graphic novel comic book shelf was I actually put comic books up here. So originally I had, since those were by N.K. Jemisin, I had all of those in the, on the same shelf. So my N.K. Jemisin novels were on the same shelf as the comic books, but I decided to separate them. All right, moving to the right. This is my new romance shelf. Oh, isn't it cute? Eee! I'm really happy with it. Um, so this plant, it uh, had to be rescued from the grocery store. Um, it looks pretty bad, but I'm hoping to resuscitate it. Um, so I'm kind of letting it acclimate for now. Um, but I think it also just looks really cute on the shelf. So again, we've got the Brown Sisters trilogy, my plant, my uh, wedding guest book, and some more of my favorites. I put Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo on the romance shelf because uh, I, I don't quite know what genre that is. So I just put, stuck it up there because I am uh, to die for the romance. All right, now I'm gonna move straight down. So these are all of my unread books. So this shelf will change quite a bit. It will fluctuate, obviously, as I read things and put them on different shelves um, and buy more books that I have to read. You know, this will change quite a bit. To be transparent, I have read these four books, um, but I have not read book five and six in the series, but I would read, need to reread these four to continue. So that's why I decided, you know what, I need to put them on my TBR shelf um, as a reminder. And I also have my bookmarks. All right, scooting back to the left. This is a pretty much empty shelf. <laughs> I don't really know uh, what else to do here. I actually I ran out of books, so that's kind of a good thing. I've got room to grow, but it's basically uh, for my reading journal, <laughs> a shelf solely dedicated for my reading journal. So I've got my colorful markers, um, some knickknacks and patty wax, uh, my nook and iPad that I very rarely read on, and then my reading journal. So like literally this is an empty shelf that I just threw some random clutter on. So hopefully this will get filled up someday um, as I acquire more books. And now, I'm gonna go straight to the bottom. So, all right, this bottom shelf. Hello. This bottom shelf is uh, a collection of classics. So classic fantasy, you know, classic literature, those types of things, older fantasy, um, you know, Edgar Allan Poe right there. And then I have a stack of poetry right there and that they fit all on one shelf so that's why i decided to go with that and now i'm gonna scooch i'm gonna scooch you right to the right and this is my non-fiction shelf um so basically i have i'm gonna scooch you a little closer oh my gosh i'm so minnesotan so i've got some non-fiction that i had you know from college um this is all my like feminist literature I don't know. And then these are just some random other types of nonfiction that I have read in the past couple of years that I have particularly enjoyed. This is the new setup. Um, so I'm going to give you kind of a general overview of what my bookshelves will look like as I'm sitting here. And then I'll kind of get up close a little bit. So on this shelf right to my right um, is sci-fi and thriller, mystery, sci-fi thriller, horror, if that makes sense. And this is all adult uh, science fiction and thriller, horror, mystery. Um, and so as we travel across, we get my few sci young adult sci-fi over here. So that's how I have it organized. And then towards the this side, we have my favorite young adult fantasy series of all time going over here and down here. So this is all young adult. Young adult fantasy, my absolute favorites, the things I scream about the most, 
uh, and recommend to, you know, you guys. And then down here, right behind me is basically adult fantasy that uh, is all-time favorite. So right behind my shoulder, we've got N.K. Jemisin. I wish she was more prominent. Like, I might shift her down or up um, just because I feel like uh, my shadow blocks them. Um, so maybe this might this shelf might switch a little bit, but that is that. And then at House in the Cerulean Seas right there. And then we've got some um, more adult fantasy, mostly Brandon Sanderson, but also the Poppy War at the very end. Thank you so much for watching this like really chaotic organizational video. And I hope to see you in my next video very soon. Bye.